name is Brenna and I'm showing a video of my violin. Um, we're going to open the case here. And be careful because if you scratch your case up, if you like hit it on the ground too much, your violin might get damaged and it's not going to be good. So let's see. The first step is to go, oops, we're going to talk about that a tiny bit later. We're going to go like this. So look at my violin. I'm going to go like this. Then we're going to put it on our lap. And the next step is, don't go down to the shoulder yet. So go up here. Then, if you have my kind of a chin rest, we're going to tip it upside down. Hold it with your legs so it stays, not so it falls. And we're going to, this is actually called the shoulder rest. And we're going to put the smaller end by the chin rest. This is the chin rest. And we're going to put the bigger end by right here. And there's actually two kinds. There's my kind, which is a long kind of stick, and it has foam right here. And it says cun on it, or whatever. <laughs> I don't remember what it says. Um, or there's a uh, foamy one. And it has like a curve to it, and you put a rubber band on your violin so it can go through the bottom. Then we're going to go back up here, and we're going to make sure our hand goes on the shoulder. And make sure, you see this little thing right here that looks like a thumb? Mm -hmm. You're going to always put your thumb here, never here, because then it's just uncomfortable. But if you go right here, it feels way more comfortable. Now we're going to get up. And we're going to zip, move my feet, and then we're going to go across, and then we're going to bounce just a tiny bit, and then salute, upside down, button to our ear, so come in for landing, and then, uh, sorry, pray, then we're going to put our hands right here. And never put your feet back like that when you're done. Always keep your hands right there. And then you're going to make a squirt gun with your hand. And see this little yellow sticker right there? Mm -hmm. You're going to put your thumb there. And then this little thin line right here is where you're going to put your first finger. Um, the first string, the thick, or sorry, thin line right here, it's the first line we're going to pluck, and it's called the E string. And we're going to pluck it four times. Ready? The director could do it with me. Ready? Go. One, one two, two, three, four. Now the next one next to it is called the A string, and we're going to pluck it six times. Ready? One, one two, two, three, four. four. Five. Whoop. Four. Oh yeah. Five. <laughs> six. six. Sorry about that. Uh, the next one is called the D string. And we're going to book it ten times. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The next one is the G string, and this is the lowest and biggest sound. Ready? We're going to pluck it six times. Go. One, One two, two, three, four, five, six. six. Okay. So then, what do we have to do after that? Oh, yes. After the string, I have to tell you something important. You see these right here? Mm -hmm. The strings are attaching to them? Never turn them unless you're an expert. But actually, sorry, excuse me for a second. These, you cannot turn. They do not turn like a guitar. You see these right here? Mm -hmm. Those are to tune them. And only do it if you're very, very good at it. If you're an expert and you know 
what weighs higher and what weighs lower. And actually, I have a something I can show you. I'm just going to put my violin right there. Here it is. Now, this is called a pitch pipe. And as you see, it has all the letters. One through four. And the first one is E, so it, it's going to sound like this. The second one is A, so we're, it's going to sound like this. Now the third one is right here, not here. The third one is D, so it's going to sound like this. And the fourth one is G, so it's going to sound like this. Now, never play with the tuners. It's not good to play with them. It's not a harmonica. And never play with the tuners on the violin or viola or cello or bass, if they have them. Um, because it's not good. It's not good to play with them. Because if you don't know how to make them right again, then... Gone. So, we're going to... Put that back, and, um, well, that's pretty much it. Bye.